I had an opportunity to meet this young brother through um, Ali from the St. Lunatic. Shout to Ali for making an introduction. This is a young man that he's mentoring, um, his protege. You know, he's a fashion designer. He's a producer. But I was particularly fascinated with his lifestyle. Uh, I, I believe... He has something like five wives, and I knew I had to get him on the show because it's it's a topic that uh, many people want to know more about. But, uh, you know, where do you go to find out? And I figured, you know, we come right here to the source. Please welcome Yakin. Yakin, what's up, brother? Hey, thank you for having me, King. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Yakin, um, like I said, I met you briefly through... A good friend of mine, Ali, from the St. Lunatics. And when he introduced you, I, I, I kind of was blown away because you look like a young brother. Uh, and you told me you had five wives. So before I get into yeah. the details of that lifestyle, wh where are you originally from? Okay, so uh, my family's originally from St. Louis, Missouri. Um, I was born in I was born in Burbank, California. I was the first child born out here, but I went to school in both Los Angeles and in St. Louis. So I did like elementary, middle school, high school, going back and forth. But I ultimately graduated high school and went to college in St. Louis. Got you. Okay. Uh, growing up, do do you come from a traditional family? Is it a two parent household, or is it uh, mm -hmm. it it's, it's traditional? Yeah, so I grew up with my father and my mother in the household, and I had an older sister. Okay. Yeah. And my parents are married. They were married. They had a divorce later in my later teens. Okay, so educate me. Um, you you have multiple wives. Oh, wh okay. Where did you get introduced to this lifestyle? So uh, when I started doing this lifestyle, I had no compass um, I had no other people that were showing me or no other way to gauge it. I just um, was on my spiritual journey. I seen Muslims with multiple wives, but I didn't particularly know anyone, but I've seen it. And uh, I'm, I'm really big into studying like scripture and ancient Kemet. So I was always open to the idea, but I had no structure. I had no um, I had no other foundation on how I would do it. So when I did it, I took I, I was out on the limb and I tried it out. And then the first brother I met that was doing it too was Brother Polite. So when I met Brother Polite, he had three or four wives. I had three or four wives. And for me, um, that was the first time I had seen anyone else doing it. Okay, stop there for a second. Most of us, when we think of uh, this type of lifestyle, we think Muslim. Um, we, mm -hmm. we, we think the East. Um, mm -hmm. Did you grow up Muslim? Did you grow up with any religious affiliation? I grew up with no religious affiliation. Uh, my mother and my father, neither one of them were big on going to church. Uh, they were big on um, treating people how you want to be treated. And um, they were always open to the idea like uh, that there's a creator, but it wasn't pushed upon me. My household, I wouldn't say it was religious at all. Okay, um, and for the audience, and even for myself, what is the difference between polygamy and polygyny? Okay, so polygamy would mean multiple spouses in general. So polyg polygyny can fall under the category of polygamy, but polygyny is specific to one man, multiple wives. Okay, where do you fit in this spectrum? Are you... Polygyny? Polygyny. Okay. So this is, you, you said that you started to learn this on your spiritual journey. Mm -hmm. How did this journey come about from you? Was it a spiritual journey uh, that had oh, yeah. to do with, with relationships? Was it just about life in general? Mm -hmm. And how did it lead you to this place? Okay. So, um, I was in St. Louis and I was uh, rapping. I was a local rap artist uh, when the internet broke through. 
And so um, Soldier Boy and me, we're in the same generation, like 90 babies. And so we started doing music together. And um, as the, the popularity was growing, um, I was growing spiritually. And I gave all that up to follow a spiritual path. And so it was my spiritual journey first because I built who I was as a man and I totally left everything I was doing before alone. I wasn't even actually thinking about the polygyny originally. Originally, I was just thinking about bettering myself and just getting closer to the source. I became addicted with the, uh, with the game of life. I became addicted with knowledge and I had just dived into this path. And so basically what happened was um, I wanted, I was, I had no friends really. All my old friends started judging me and everybody wanted me to keep rapping and everybody wanted me to be a character. And I didn't want to be the character I was becoming. I was growing and I just wanted to follow my journey. So I then started thinking tribal, like I started really valuing like minds. So that's when I really started thinking like, okay, I need to build a family. I need to have wives who are on the same accord as me. And I want to build children because I need people that's on the same wavelength as me. That was, a, that was like the initial start for me, was just being in my own world, being misunderstood, and just going, when I start meeting the right people, I want to build a tribe, I want to build a family. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.